Excel in Access from Nifty Access. This is video two. This was the original table. So note we've got the recommendation ID 1927. If we go into the transposed, we got 19 to 27. If you look, we've got response status tag A, tag M, tag H. So we go back to recommendations. Response is tag A, tag M, tag H all the way along, each one of those field headings has been brought into the new table. You see we've got tag health, if we look there at 19, tag health is unchecked. So it's also brought in the value from the Boolean field related to 19. Remember that's row 19 and that's tag health, which is unchecked and tag education is checked. So then we look at the transpose table We've got tag health unchecked, tag education's checked. Now, if you look at this list, because it's brought in 19, 20, up to 27, we'll have a lot of duplicate values here. For each ID, we've got the field heading and the value that was associated with that field. Now, you could just leave these like this, but it's better to put that in a lookup table. So we'll do that next. So to create a lookup, on that newly created table, we need to extract the unique values here. So we want response status tag A, tag M and tag H. And we can do that with a query. So if we go create query, we want the transposed data. We want all those fields. I'm going to move this down so you can see what I'm doing. Actually, it's better if I bring this up. Bring that up to there, move this back up. If I run that, we've got a query just duplicating that table. Now what we want to do is, is to extract these values, but uniquely. We don't want all of those. We just want one single one of those and one single one of those. So what we do is we get rid of the matching ID and transpose data fields. Just delete, highlight it and delete, highlight, delete, run it again. So now we've got all of these, but we've got multiple ones. Go back into design view, right click, properties. Click on here again, because you, you're looking at field list properties. You want the query properties. And go unique values, yes, then run it again. Now can you see we've just got all of the single entries. I'll just move down so you can see them all. But that's no good to us. We don't really want it in a query. We want it in a table. So if we view the query again in design view and select the make table option. I usually call it something like that. Press OK, run it again and it's going to create a table with 31 rows and it appeared there. So if we go on there, now we've got all of those entries in there. Close that. We can close this query. We don't need it anymore, more, so don't save it. Now we need to modify this table in design view, add another row, we call it to ID and make it a auto number with a primary key. And what should we call it? Well, let's look at the original table recommendations. Well, I don't know what to call it. I'm just going to call it tags. Now notice I put an F in front of it. I don't think tag or tags is a reserved word, but it can cause you problems. So if you're unsure, always prefix it with something which makes it into a non-existent word, if you like. So we'll save that. Do you want to save changes? Yes. Open it again. Now we've got a unique ID for each one of these text entries. So I'll close that table. Go back to this, this transposed table and Let's rename it. I'm going to call it table tags for want of a better name. And we'll call this one table look up tags. Now use another query. Create in design view. We want table tags and we want table look up tags. That was the text and that is the text there. So really those fields need renaming to tags or something. But if you 
pop that over there like that that links the two together okay so now we can say subject and again I'll bring this up so we can see what we're doing and flags and ID and run it now you can see we've got the text value in the tags lookup table matches the transposed table and we've got the ID Let me close that query for now do you want to save changes yes yes we'll go back to the tags and we'll add another field and we call it tags description and it'll be a number and again you can't see that we'll go down there and have a look then we'll have it as long integer now if we look at the query again we can drag the tags description in here and it'll be empty we need to update it to one because remember this relates to the transpose subject table and this is the link table and then we're going to provide a link with the ID and the tag description so now we can get rid of these and we want an update query and we want to update this to build ID okay run now if we look uh, we we'll save this query for the minute because we're not sure if it's worked so table tags now has a number which corresponds to the response status one and tag aod one and two which are in the lookup response status and aod so now we can do another query we can delete this one now so we want create query tags and lookup tags that id will now relate to that so we want a matching id subject data tag description i forgot to bring that up we have the id so we got all the fields the four fields from that table and the two fields from that table and you should see how they relate together so you can see we've got the original tag sentencing and we've got the code for the description and the id from the tags table everything matches where it should so we should be able to close this query save changes no now if we look at the tags table we don't need this transpose subject field anymore so we can delete that because we've got the access to it in that field there we don't really need any of these data fields that are blank really it depends whether you want to store the fact that you haven't marked that tag if that's important then you would keep them but if they're not marked it's not really necessary to keep them so you could delete all those now groupings you can group these tags into groups by adding an extra field so if we go design view and we'll put tag group and we'll leave it as short text for the minute and we go back to the form oh I can check by looking at the design of the form because that should tell me the field it's in aha here we have it so it's in the recommendations form so we've got bail how many have we got here so we've got tags there we've got type aspirational type educational awareness let's have a look at our lookup so we've got type aspirational there we go and that in the recommendations was change type so we we'll call that change type control copy all right change type uh, aspirational educational funding governance education funding governance i reckon it's that one educational funding governance legislation policy research legislation policy research and i'll assume these are the same as that group and that one which is off screen you can't see so we got the last one here is, these are all prefix tag except response status so what's that that's that one that's a lookup and then we've got jurisdiction we've got tags we've got alcohol jurisdiction bail up to tag m tag l so we've got tag m 
and tag L. So I'm just going to call them tags. I don't know what I'm going to call the first one yet. I'm going to say other. Probably need to get rid of it. So I'm going to rename that to type. 